Of course, pag marami kang client projects, kailangan mo na ngayon mamili. Okay? Now, marami ngayon, you have to be careful also because a lot of people are looking for uh, online work. There are some parties there who take advantage of those people who are looking for online work. So you really have to be careful in uh, uh, choosing and applying for work. Okay? Now, most of the sites na pinakita sa amin sa inyo kanina, uh, all you have to do is submit your resume, your credentials, save it, and save it in their database and uh, complete a profile okay, so that employers can search for you. Okay? Ang iingatan nyo is yung mga companies or websites that ask for a payment for you to, to join or to be hired. Okay? Because most of them scam yon. Okay? So, upfront, naghihingi sila ng bayad sa inyo, ingat. Okay? Ingat kayo doon. Uh, the best is uh, sa online communities. Okay? Sometimes, they put up a notice and we'll give warnings na yung mga companies na nag-hire and then they scam you. So, ingat kayo doon. Okay? Choose your projects, choose your clients. Meaning, choose clients that pay well. Okay? Uh, choose clients that that uh, give reasonable work uh, hours. So, do your research also. Hindi lang yung basta apply and apply. I-research nyo rin yung company or your client. Okay? And ngayon, madali mag-research because of social media. Just go to Google, go to Facebook, search them, uh, learn from them, and then uh, evaluate if they are the real thing. I remember a few months, uh, last month, there was this company hiring us. And it was too good to be true. And that, ang gaganda na off. The offers were really, really, really good. Okay? Uh, they were offering around 200000 a month payment, right? With paid leaves, ganyan, ganyan. Okay? Ang dami. So, the thing is, the one who was giving the offer was hyping us. Okay? That person was really hyping us. Marami siya in-offer na talaga nakaka-hype. If you are a beginner or if you are some new to this business, madadala ka sa hype. Right? But, ang daming red flags. So, what we did, we reviewed the company. We looked for the company online. And we found out that this company just put up a website. As in, kakasimula pa lang. And for that, for us, red flag yun. Okay? Uh, a, a, a person hiring online tapos purus hike binibigay through private messages warning din yon red flag din yon okay so we did not pursue that client so we just we just let it go okay kasi red flag yun eh baka kami maipit so careful also now of course darating yung time and dami mo ng clients and dami mo ng projects you have to turn down a project if you have to learn how to turn down Turn down meaning, uh, tell them, right now, I cannot work on your project because I am full. Okay? Ask if the project is urgent or if you if, tell them if you are available, uh, tell them about your availability. What I do sometimes is that I tell my, cl my prospective clients is that uh, I'm currently busy right now, but I will be available next week. Can you wait next week? If yes. Let's talk. Parang ganon. If not, then it's not for you. Okay? You have to balance it always. Okay? Learn how to turn down a project. Especially if it's paying way below your rates. Okay? This is very important. Know how much your time is worth. This is one of the skills or the things that I have learned that is na nag-save sa amin many, many times. Know how much your time is worth. Because time here, working from home, is your uh, ally. This is, time is gold, kumbaga. Okay? Know how much your time is worth? Easy lang naman yan. Uh, for example, if you're employed right now, your total income a month, divided by the total number of hours you work in a month, let's say uh, 40 hours a week, that's 160 hours 
a month. So total income mo, divided by 160 hours, you get your hourly rate. Okay? Now, if you understand how much you're worth per hour, okay, do mo makita how much you're wasting time. For example, if you're earning, para madali, if you're earning 100,000 a month, okay, from your, from your work, and you work 100 hours 100 hours uh, a month, okay? That is around 1,000 a month, tama? An hour or 100? One hours a month. So anyway, that is, hold on. Calculator na natin. Let's say 160,000 a month divided by 160 hours. Oh, 1,000 a month. 1,000 an hour, okay? 1,000 an hour. Okay, that is your uh, worth an hour. So for example, if you are working from, a, from an office, okay, and your travel time is two hours going to office, two hours going back, one hour to prepare, one hour to rest, you're losing around six hours, uh, six hours in a day. And that, is, that equates to around 6,000 a, a day, right? So if you're working from home and your rate is 8, 000, uh, 1,000 an hour, you work, eight, you, you work for eight hours, pero kang 8,000, right? And since you're working from home, you save time for traffic, you save time for travel, preparations and stuff, you gain another six hours. You six hours na yun, ibigay mo ngayon yun sa side hustles mo, right? So one of my side hustles, one of my uh, online client, I was earning around $95 an hour, for example. Okay? So yung, yung time and the waste code doing other stuff, I hindi ko na ginawa. I gave, my, I gave those ta, the time I had to that client because it's $95 an hour. That's almost 5,000 pesos an hour. Okay, pero one-time client lang yon For a month lang namin ginawa yun. Pero, grabe yun. Right? Kung makahanap kayo ng client na ganun, okay? Ang sarap. Ang sarap. Kasi bakit? It's, you can earn as much in a week yung kinikita mo in a month. Right? And if it goes on for a year, oh my gosh, ang dami mong pera. Right? So, time is your friend. Okay? Know how much your time is worth. Kasi yun din gagamitin mo to evaluate if what you're doing for a client is worth it or not. Right? So, for example, if a client gives us, ito yung total budget namin. And gagawin mo to for three months. Right? For example, 30,000 ang budget niya. Gagawin mo to three months. That is 10, that's 10,000 a month. O ilang hours mo siya gagawin. So sabihin natin, 10,000, for example, 10,000 a month divided by 160, you're earning 62 pesos per hour. Okay? And if you times 8, that's 500. Mas mataas pa ang minimum wage para sa'yo. Okay? So if you know your hourly rate, you can evaluate yung mga projects, if they worth your time or not. Okay? So, for example, there's a client who's offering you this much and it compute mo. Ang hourly rate mo is two times, three times your usual hourly rate. So, mo nang pakawalan yan. Get that client. Okay? So, this is also very important. Okay? Next. Know how to price your products or service. Okay? Ito, ito, these are for freelancers or you know, for, for work from home people who provide a service for graphic designers, uh, web developers, and such. Okay? Kailangan marunong ka magpresyo. Hindi yung bubunot ka ng presyo from the air. Okay? Now, there's a practice that I've been, uh, there's a formula that I've been using to price for my clients. To price my clients, right? 
Ito yung 30-30-10. Okay? So, ano yung 30-30-10? 30% will be the total number of hours I quote for a client. Okay? 30, the first 30, this one. So, for example, uh, I quote for a project 40 hours at my rate. That is the total cost of the project. Okay? Ang gagawin ko, times 3 lang naman. The times 3 ko yun. For example, if I get, uh, I, I quote 40 hours for a project, instead na 40 hours i quote ko sa kanya, ita times 3 ko siya. Okay? So yung first 30%, that, that, that 30% will be the actual cost. Ito yung uh, operation cost mo. Okay? These are the hours you're working. 30% is your contingency. Ito yung revisions, ito yung changes, ito yung brown out, ito yung kailangan mong bumili ng equipment, okay? Hindi yun hindi yun kasama sa work working hours mo. So 30 30% will be your working hours, 30% will be your contingency, 30% will be your profit. Always put there a profit margin. Okay? So 30 30 30. Okay, 30% working hours, 30% contingency, 30% Profit. Kailangan kumita ka naman. Okay? Then, yung 10% is your margin for discounts. Okay? So, what I do? This, I will price it like this. 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 10%. That is my total cost. Yan sasabihin ko kay client sa email. Because most US clients, they love discounts. Sasabihin ko sa kanila, uh, I'll give you a 10% discount the cost. Covered siya dito. Okay? And believe me, this works. Why? Uh, most of my clients, okay, if I compute my hours, okay, and I times 3 it, and I, at the end, I give them 10% discount, they get it. This works well with foreign clients, especially US. Okay? They love discounts. Kahit how, no matter how small it is, 10%, they love discounts. Unfortunately, this will not work for local clients. So local clients, ito lang. Ito actual cost ang kaya nilang bayaran. Right? Again, uh, if you choose your clients, that's why most of our clients are abroad kasi if I, if I get a local client and I give them a price, nagahan sila ng iba. Okay lang. Kasi it's not worth my time. Okay? Kasi pag kinumpute ko yung offer nila or your budget and the hours I will put into it, it's not worth my time. Okay? So I'd rather look for projects that are worth my time. Okay? So you can apply this formula if you want. Okay, 30% your working hours, 30% uh, your contingency, 30% your profit, 10% for discounts. Okay? So kay na bahala maglaro dyan. Laro, laroin nyo lang. But this is what I do. This is how I price my service or my products. Okay? Of course, you have to know how much hours you are working for a project. So you have to time your work. Okay? Doon mo malalaman kung lumagpas ka na ba doon sa hours na binigay mo or kinakain na ba ng hours mo yung profit margin mo. Okay? So if you go to Google, okay, there's a simple there's a simple app that I use which is Task Timer. Ito. Task Timer. Yan. So all of my online tasks, lahat ng clients ko, okay? I create a task here. And, and oorasan niya ngayon kung how much time, how much hours you have provided for that job. So very, very useful. There are other stuff on, there are, stuff, there are other task timers online. But this integrates to Google, so lagi itong ginagamit. Okay? So always time your work so that you know if how much time you're uh, using or probably you're wasting time sa isang client. Okay? Time your work. Now, do not be afraid to ask for down payments for new clients. Okay? The new client yan, kailangan mo mag-ask ng down payment. Most of the clients that I encounter online, they do not ask for contracts. Okay? Bibigyan nila task. Kung mag-ask ka ng down payment, magbabayad sila. Pag hindi ka nag-ask ng down payment, usually they pay naman after the project. But to protect yourself, you have to ask for down payment. Okay?
Okay, usual down payment rates range from around 20 to 30 percent. Uh, if they if they see value in your portfolio in their in your work, and if they have researched you well enough, papayag sila minsan ng 50 percent. Okay, uh, most of my clients online, 30 percent to 40 percent they give down payments. But for former yung mga old clients ko, uh, they pay after the project. Because they trust me, I trust them. So, they sila after the completion of the project, even if without contract. Now, some companies, those some companies ask for contracts. And one of the contracts is an, an NDA, non-disclosure agreement. So you can, you can, yeah. If you're familiar with NDAs, uh, you are not allowed to post about or inform every, anyone about what you're doing with that company. Okay, so malam yon madalas yon NDAs. But other contracts online, wala masyado. I don't encounter that much. Probably local companies they will ask for a contract, but most companies I work with they don't ask for contracts. They just give you the task, send them an invoice, they pay. Ganun ka simple. That's why I love working for uh, clients abroad online, kasi. Give them an invoice, they take that. Okay? Now, don't be afraid to send payment reminders. Sometimes may delay, remind them. Kasi nabisa na bibisi lang sila. So, send an email. I would like to remind you of the invoice. Uh, kindly arrange. Uh, do not add drama. Do not add uh, uh, personal issues. Just send a very concise email. Okay? For example, dear client, uh, I sent you an inv invoice last week, uh, dated blah, blah, blah. Okay? Uh, kindly arrange payment as soon as possible. Best regards. That's it. As simple as that. You don't have to write very uh, complicated emails. Short and concise will do. And if you notice, most online emails or most emails communication by clients, they're just one or two sentences lang. Straight to the point. Then be like that. Right? Send email reminders for payments. Okay? How to get paid for your services? Of course, kailangan mabayaran ka. Okay? Set up your payment gateways. So, marami kang ways para mabayaran. Okay? One way is through PayPal. Okay? PayPal, if you set a PayPal account, uh, clients can pay you online if you have a PayPal account. Okay? You can also have uh, Payoneer. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, this is, these are the ones I'm using. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, Payoneer.com. You can sign up. This is for free. Okay. Sign up. Uh, then you can be paid online. Okay. Another one is PayPal. Most of you are familiar with this. Okay. Paymaya, Gcash, if you want. Uh, another way for you to get paid is through remittances via online transfer. Okay, so I also have a bank account, a dollar account. Since most of my clients are from the US, uh, I have a dollar account. So they pay directly through my dollar account. Okay, and for uh, you, have, you have to also be aware that PayPal may mataas ang transaction fees. So you have to add that to your invoice. Okay, meron silang. 5% ata or 15%, I'm not sure. But may, medyo mataas ang transaction fees ng PayPal. So they eat away your income. So you have to include that in your invoice or your payment. Sa computation yun ng, ng uh, payments or your price or your cost, right? So you have to add that. Also, Payoneer. Payoneer medyo mababa. So that's why I use this. Okay? I've been using this for almost three years now. So okay naman. So very reliable. Okay, but you have to be aware. Okay, most uh, most payment gateways like Payoneer and PayPal, if you if you reach a certain amount, the amount is around ten thousand dollars. Meaning, if the total total amount of all your remittances, lata na tanggap mo pera, umabot na ten thousand, they will start to limit your account, i-hold nila yung pera sa PayPal mo. Okay? 
but ma they will release it and after you provide verification of your business so they ask verification of your business address your location they just they just want documents to prove who you are where you live and if your business is legitimate they will give you a list they will send you a list comply with the list and your paypal account and your payment account will be unlimited na okay so yung paypal account ko after three years i received that i received that notification so all i did was uh, send my dpi dpi my documents my my passport identification uh mga recibo statements and then after three days they they uh, released me from unlimited so my account right now is now unlimited so meaning i can receive a uh, payment uh, without any more problems but paypal of course medyo strict ka paypal pag nakatanggap ka ng malaking bulto ng pera bigla bigla they will hold your money for 21 days or sometimes even 60 days okay so be careful with that one There are others, uh, Paymaya. I haven't placed, I haven't used Paymaya, but uh, I heard, medyo okay daw sila. Maraming lumalabas ngayon, other payment ways, uh, payment gateways. Uh, 